Hello guys, and welcome to my empties from November and December. So this is going to be a really huge empties video. Um, I'm gonna combine November and December and I have an overflowing basket. So I actually did record my November empties at the end of the month and I got a new phone and I had to switch over all my data and I just deleted the video on accident. So I did keep my candles and I think my body care from November, but I threw away everything else so I won't have like skincare or any other types of um, beauty empties, but I will have body care and candles. And then I have a ton from December too because I was trying to use up some candles and I was trying to use up a lot of wax melts. So I have a ton of stuff to show you guys. So let's just get started. So I'm gonna start with candles since that's the easiest thing to pull out first. And I have pumpkin pecan waffles, which I definitely finished up in November. This one is one of my favorites of all time. I get it every single fall. Um, absolutely love it. It's a great thrower and yeah, one of my favorites. Another one that I'm pretty sure I finished up in November is this Target Threshold Little Single Wick. This is, oh, it's actually Hearth and Hand and the scent is Salted Honey. So I remember people saying that this was supposed to be a dupe for Sol de Janeiro's um, just signature scent. And it does smell similar. I wouldn't say it's exact same, but it smells really good. And it smells like an elevated house scent. So I really liked it. I used it kind of just in my living room, in my kitchen area, and it was actually pretty good for that space. So I really enjoyed this. It was $6.99, so $7 for a single wick. Not bad, honestly. I would definitely consider picking up their giant, I think it's either a four or five wick candle from Hearth and Hand because they're really pretty. And um, I would definitely keep the jar, but it did smell really good too. So yeah, I'm gonna clean this one out though. I'm gonna pop it in the fridge and wait for the wax to harden and then kind of pop it out and clean it. So it's really cute. So all the rest of the candles are from December. I finished off Gingerbread Milkshake near the beginning of the month. This one is from Goose Creek and I believe the notes were something like malted milk, um, sweet ginger or candy ginger and whipped cream or something. It was honestly not a good candle. It was kind of city and it was super, super cloying and I really didn't get gingerbread at all. I kind of just got the milkshake notes, which was nice, but very cloying and yeah. So I just, I finished it off. Happy to have it out of my collection. I mean, the packaging was really cute, but I just didn't like this candle. Next, we have Peppermint Sugar Cookie. This is also one of my all time favorites. I have to have this every single winter. This is pretty much like a December staple for me. Notes are crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. Just a wonderful scent, um, pretty phenomenal. It left a little bit of wax deposit on the sides, but it burned beautifully. It really wasn't sooty at all. It has the best sweet vanilla peppermint scent and it just smells so yummy. So absolutely adored this one. And the last three wick I finished is the Cinnamon Spice Vanilla and Hot Cocoa and Cream Blend. I think this is from Summer SAS of this year or of 2023 actually, now we're in 2024. Um, the notes are decadent milk chocolate, ground cinnamon, and vanilla bean. I really like this. It kind of just smelled like hot cocoa and cream to me. It burned really well. Um, I guess it had like a slight cinnamon note, but not really too prominent, but I did really enjoy it. And the last candle I have is this mahogany vanilla single wick. The notes are warm vanilla, bergamot, and sweet sandalwood. And it looks like there's some wax left, but it actually kind of just burned unevenly near the end. So it left some on the side, but I did finish off the candle. It extinguished itself. It was wonderful. I love mahogany vanilla. I like to always have one of these on hand, so I'm gonna have to pick one up soon. Um, I think I have a free item coupon in my app, so I might pick one up soon. But I love this one in the bedroom. It smells wonderful. I'm sorry if you can hear screaming in the background. Ryan is watching a movie. But yeah, this is mahogany vanilla. Absolutely adored it. Okay, next I'm gonna hop into full-size body care because you guys are gonna be proud of everything that I finished. And Ryan actually helped me finish two things. So I was able to finish off my pumpkin pecan waffle shower gel. I think this was a November empty. Love, love, loved this. It's so funny because last year I absolutely despised it. This is from 2021. So yeah, I got it in 2021. I really didn't like it. I didn't return it. I tried it again in 2022 and still hated it. But this year I absolutely adored it. It smells like, like maple syrup. It smells so good and yummy. And yeah, it was definitely one of my favorites. Also a November empty, I finished up champagne, apple, and honey in my shower gel and my body lotion 
full size. I love this one for um, the fall time. It's like the perfect transition to me because Texas is not usually cold in the fall, kind of more near the end of De November and December does it actually get cold here. So these were really great just because I wasn't looking for anything super, um, super fall like, but still kind of good for warm weather fall. And then I'll kind of brag on Ryan's empties. He finished off Vampire Blood in the shower gel. He had this in his shower just like by accident because he didn't have anything else to use. And then he actually had loved it. So he loved this one, finished it off actually a couple days ago. And then he also finished off his classic flannel body lotion. Um, love this one too. I need to get him a new lotion, but you guys will have to let me know down below. Do they not sell men's body lotion anymore? Because we went in the store the other day on body care day to try and get him a lotion and they don't sell them anymore. They only sell body creams and he doesn't like that formula. So you'll have to let me know. Maybe it's online only now, but yeah, my store doesn't carry men's body lotion anymore. I don't know what happened. So so I think this is the last full-size body care item. I finished off Midnight Amber Glow in the body cream. This was definitely a November empty. Really loved it. This is one of my favorite scents, so that one was awesome. I did really good in the last couple of months. I finished off eight Scentsy Wax Bars. These are all Scentsy, which is so funny. I was trying to get through the end of my um, fall wax and then also melting Christmas, so let's go through these. I'll start with the Harry Potter Hufflepuff Scentsy Bar. I think this one was like a bakery forward scent. It was definitely like a vanilla something. I liked it, it was really good. It was kind of like a warm scent, so I love that. Finished off Graham Cracker Crunch. This is one of my favorites, I have it in my club. It's so yummy, it's just like that wonderful like salty graham cracker, it's so good. I finished off the Wizarding World Harry Potter scent. This one's really fun. Um, I think this one kind of smells like cashmere leaves to me. It's got like a, a warm outdoorsy kind of scent. It smells wonderful. I don't remember what the notes are on this, but I really like this one. I finished off Pumpkin Roll in November. This one was nice. Just like a simple bakery pumpkin scent. Nothing super special, honestly. I didn't love it, but it was nice for, you know, finishing off the fall. I finished off this Perk Me Up Bring Back My Bar. This is just like a coffee scent, super simple. It's like a vanilla coffee. I like it. I put coffee scents in my um, home office and I really enjoy them. They last super long because I really only turn them on in like the first part of the morning and then I turn it off. So I like this one, it lasts a really long time. And then I've got some Christmas scents. So I have Christmas cuddles and I actually didn't buy any Christmas scents this year. This is all leftovers from last year. This one was a really heavy like cinnamon nutmeg bakery scent. So I think it was a little, <coughs> it was a little too heavy for me, honestly, a little headache inducing, but I finished that off. We have Slay All Day. I think this packaging is really cute. I love this blue color. Um, this one definitely is like a winter evergreen. So I enjoyed it for being a wintry scent, but I really only used like one cube at a time and mixed it with something vanilla-y because I can't handle <laughs> just a pine evergreen scent on its own. So I like to mix this one and it actually was pretty good. And the last bar I have is Peppermint Rush. This one's so yummy. I love this. It's just a vanilla peppermint scent. Very nice and perfect for December. I pretty much use this all month in my warmer in my living room and I really, really loved it. Let's go through a couple Halloween hand soaps that I finished in November. We have Spell Binding Sweets, which is just like this ghost in a like church mirror. This is Haunted Lollipop, Sweet Bubblegum, and Bewitched Berries. It was just like a candy scent. It was pretty good. And then I also finished off Vampire Blood. I actually think Ryan had this one in his bathroom. And this is Red Berries, Night Blooming Jasmine, and Petrifying Plum. Just like a nice berry scent. So we liked these a lot. I did finish off two pocket backs. I finished off Winter Candy Apple. This one's from last year. And Wild Berry Lemonade. I was able to finish a couple makeup items, which is pretty rare for me. I finished up the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with Niacinamide. This is the pink one. I love this stuff. I just picked up a um, second one in just the regular Power Grip, the blue primer. I really love it. I am sad though that it's such a small package because this went by really fast. I think it's like less than one ounce, but it is like $8. So I guess that makes sense, but this is a really great primer. If you need one that's gonna make your makeup last all day, I totally recommend the Power Grip primer in either version that they have. It's really good. And then I also finished off this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 10, which I think is fair. 
and I use this under my eyes. I've used it since I think like high school under my eyes and it's my favorite concealer of all time. So definitely already repurchased this one. I have one random hair item. This is the Chi Iron Guard. I use this pretty much every time before I heat treat my hair um, before either I blow dry it or straighten it with the straightener. And this was $10.99 at Marshalls and I already bought a backup. It's one of my favorites. Forgot about one makeup item. I have this e.l.f. Wow Brow in here. I'm definitely an e.l.f. girly. Um, their stuff works for the price that it is. It actually works really well at just as good as some high-end stuff. So I really like it. This was, um, I think the medium shade in their Wow Brow. I liked it. It's not my favorite thing, but I did enjoy it. Moving on to the last category, which is skincare. I did finish off my Bioma Moisturizing Gel Cream. I love this stuff, it is so good. I think this packaging has a flaw though because I have to store it upside down in order to be able to use this pump because the pump doesn't actually go to the bottom of the packaging. I don't know whose idea that was, but yeah, just like a flaw in that one, but I love the formula. I'm definitely gonna repurchase, but I have a few um, backup moisturizers I need to get through first. But I really recommend this brand, it's very good. I finished off two of these Mary Kay Clear Proof Cleansers in the full size and the mini. I took it on vacation with me. Really love this stuff, I use it every night and it really helps to both get rid of makeup and then get rid of like any sebum or oil or anything on my face throughout the day. Another Mary Kay item I finished is the Clinical Solutions Vitamin C Line Reducer. Um, this is just a vitamin C serum, I use it every single morning. I absolutely adore this. I think it really helped this year transform the um, hyperpigmentation on my skin, especially if I would have like leftover acne scars. It really, really helps with that and evened out my skin tone this year. So I really loved it. I finished off this Garnier Micellar Water. I like this stuff. It's not the best thing in the planet, but it is only like $10 and it's a huge bottle. It lasts me like five months. So I definitely recommend it if you're looking for something cheap. And the last thing that I finished, I actually did just purchase it in a full size. This is a La Roche-Posay SPF 50 Tinted Mineral Sunscreen. So it has a little bit of a tint here and you can see it's kind of just like a medium um, color, which works perfect for me. I wish they'd come out with it in like a light or a fair and a deep and a deep dark, but this is the only shade they have, which is just like a medium color. Um, it really works for my skin tone, but they are definitely not they definitely don't have a good shade range. <laughs> but I love this tinted sunscreen because I can kind of put it on and it acts like a um, tinted foundation. So I really love this for no makeup days. So I purchased a full size and it's like my new favorite thing. So definitely recommend it if you also have medium skin. Um, but that's everything for my entire empties from the last couple of months of 2023. I know that was a ton of stuff. I finished off a lot of stuff. So I did really good in the last couple of months of 2023, just focusing on things that I need to use up. And I've been doing really good and not purchasing during SAS because I honestly don't need anything. I have a huge collection and I'm gonna try for at least the first half of 2024 to get through what I have and really focus on using it up and enjoying the things that I already own before I purchase backups of things that I don't need. So that's my focus going into next year. I hope you guys enjoyed this empties video. Let me know down below what was your little favorite item that you finished up recently and that you had to repurchase because it was just so good. So that's everything for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.